too short. Oh man, I'm on my bit. It's already started. All right, we back with a little part two, or whatever, of uh, last video. What was the last video gonna be called? I don't know. What was we just talking about? Pretty much debating the law, pretty much on me being stupid asshole. Breaking the laws and doing dumb shit. Hey, we can get that, man. We just start off basic, see where it goes. Let me get you the spirit again. Let me start with a basic scripture. Because we know a lot of these Christians, a lot of them, they say uh, you don't have to keep the commandments of the Lord. They say you don't have to keep the commandments. That's crazy. I mean, how crazy is that? They'll say the law is done away with. And that Jesus came, now that they'll say the law was nailed to the cross. We don't have to keep the law. That's madness. We don't have to keep the law. But don't follow America's laws, though, one day. I thought the laws was done away with. I guess, that don't even make no sense. Uh... Right here, uh, John 14 and 15. Actually, we start at 14. Let me start at 13. And who's and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So what's the, what's his what's his name? The the name of the Messiah is Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's not Jesus Christ. It's Yahweh Shai. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And what does that also tell you? Because these Christians, they say the law is done away with. And they also teach the, the, the Trinity. And they say the Father is the Son. But this don't say that. That don't say that. What I just read. It don't say that. He said that the Father may be glorified in the Son. They're, two, two, uh, they're separate. I mean, they're together. and They're one. The, the Son is one with the Father. But the son, the Messiah, the one y'all call Jesus is not God. He's the Messiah. He's the son of God. But Christians don't, they don't know the Bible. And whatsoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do that the father may be glorified in the son. He's called the son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, you see that? If ye love me. You ask somebody, do you love the Lord? Ask him that. That's how you set somebody up. You know, you set a trap for them. You know, we debate with the, you know how you set the traps. You get a Christian out here, be like, just ask him, you get set a trap for him. So, ask, ask, do you love the Lord? It says, and they'll be like, yeah, I love Jesus with all my heart. Well, you can say, if you love me, keep my commandments. So what does that mean, keep my commandments? It means keep the commandments in the Bible. And he was talking about the commandments that the, the most I gave to the nation of Israel. Okay, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not, okay, kill. All those, you know, everybody knows the Ten Commandments, but the other commandments. You, uh, you're not supposed to eat pork. That's a commandment. You're not supposed to be eating pork. You're not supposed to eat shrimp. Okay, all these other abominable creatures. You're not, you know, okay, there's dietary laws. There's laws on usury. It says, thou shalt not uh, lend usury unto thy brother. Or, you know, charge somebody interest. That's a sin. You can't break that commandment. You're not, you can't charge your brother's uh, interest. That's a sin. Okay. Let me read that again. Uh, John 14 and 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray. Look, if you do that, look. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. And that's the Holy Spirit in these scriptures. Even the spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive, because uh, we, we were just talking about it in the last video about how we're not part of the world, because mm -hmm. they have a different, they, they have a different inheritance than what we got. Uh, where did it go? I lost it. Even a spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Whew. That's fire. So you know, a lot of these people, they can't see the truth. That's because the Lord's not in them. But we can see every, we can see all things. We can see everything. We got that sight. We got that vision. We got the Spirit with us. The Spirit is with us. I always like the other scripture. With two or three to gather together in my name, I'm in the midst of them. That's the spiritual power. Really, that's spiritual power right there. We got power. The Lord gave us power. 
And these fools, they just out in the world, bro. Like these people over here, they don't know what's going on. You know, how does that feel just to not know what's going on? You like you never had to try to take yourself back in time. I remember when we didn't know what the hell was going on. That's an awful feeling to not know what the hell is going on. Through. Yeah, you just be through out here. No hope. You just lost with no hope. What the? You just you said that's a legit darkness. You don't know what's going. You don't know the truth. You don't know who you are. You don't know where you came from. You don't know what your purpose is. You know you don't know nothing. You just a lost little puppy. With no guidance. This is uh, what scripture says: the life of the fool is worse than death. Yes, wow, man, I'll be meditating on that scripture. But it's like, ah, I don't want to be that guy. I can't. I, it's, that's a terrible. That sounds terrifying. That's why. Remember what King David said? Was that King David's song? Was that Psalms 137? Let me get that. Just real quick. Real quick. Psalms 137 uh, and 4. How shall we sing you have a song in a strange land? If I forget thee, O Jerusalem, let my right hand forget her cunning. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth if I per prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Like we pray to the Lord that we don't forget this. That we, that we keep this truth. That we keep this spirit. That's the last thing you want to do is for the spirit to leave you. So how y'all doing? Good, how are you? Good, good. What's the name, sir? So that's a terrifying thought is for the Lord to leave you, the spirit to leave you. That's a terrifying thought. You see, a lot of people came into the truth where they fell out. I be thinking about that, like when it comes to the day's teaching. Like every time we go out to teach, I be thinking in my head, you know what happens if you don't go out teaching, right? That's boy. That's a terrifying thought. But how could you go back to the world? What you gonna do once you get back to the world? Say, so, you know, when somebody comes into faith and they fall out, what what are, they, what are you supposed to do when you go back? You wearing a mask. Through. You just lying to yourself. Who would want to go back to these people? Who would want to go join forces with ignorance? You know, cleave. They would have cleave under ignorance and cleave under. Cle well, I'm trying not to use too many bad words. I was trying to sound smooth in my vocabulary. I was trying to. They trying to cleave under ignorance and foolishness and mischievous madness. That's what they cleaving on to: darkness and death. Well, there's a scripture on that, ain't it? They cleave under. Didn't we already read that? They cleave onto the lies. These people, I, man, I hate this world, bro. That's why we pray to we pray to the Yahabashim, Yahushai Bashim, Rakakal Das, that he he destroys this place, he destroys Babylon, he destroys all these Edomites. We pray he destroys two thirds of Israel. Okay, we pray that he does it soon, swiftly. Okay, hastily. <laughs> With great, we pray the Lord uses great haste. What, what's that? What scripture? Oh, let me get it. Bro. This is one of my favorite scriptures. I gotta bust it out. I'm trying to find one that said you could be bound again. Why would you? Why would? Why would we go bound again to the? Uh, damn it! I, don't know. I can't read it. I was just reading that not too long ago. Is that in Hebrews? Are you read it already? It's in Hebrews, ain't it? I think so. I don't know. No, I didn't read it already. I, I mean, we read that before. Like, I think it was a few weeks ago. I don't know. Let me get this real quick. I was talking about, I was, we was, praying, I was praying to the Lord that, you know, he destroyed this place. Zephaniah 1 and 18. Neither their silver nor gold shall be a, uh, able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. The Lord is jealous. All these Israels, bro, these people out here, they're not, you know, putting their vows, vowing unto the Lord. They give their vows unto Esau. Like in the last video, we was talking about the vows. They give all their vows unto Esau. And they put all their faith into America, this political system, this ideology, that ideology. They're not putting their vows and their faith into the Lord. So the Lord is jealous. So he's going to show you his jealousy.
Neither their silver nor their gold. Oh, they put their vows into their money. Shit. That's their vow. That's their God. They worship the God of mammon. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of Yahweh's wrath. But the whole land, the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. It said he going to make a speedy riddance of y'all. The two-thirds of Israel will get a speedy riddance. He's speed. That's an, I guess. Mm, the speedy riddance. Well, this is a Bible as far. The Lord going to make a speedy riddance of y'all, man. That's going to be funny, too. That's going to be funny. We're going to laugh. The Lord, he's going to laugh. Could you imagine we get to hear the Lord's laughter? That would shake the earth. Hear the Lord laughing at you fools. He's going to make a speedy riddance. He's going to make a... Oh, man, I got to watch what I say. He's going to make a speedy riddance of all you no-gooders. You try not to say that F word. You know that, you say, like that F word is worse than the N word now, ain't it? It's like you can say the N word, you can't say the F word. Because that, that, that's the protected class. Is the, is the F class. The F class of people, folk... The F class of people, that's the protected class nowadays. The, the Fs. We're going to call them the Fs. Is, can you do that? Trash. The Fs. The Lord's going to destroy all you Fs. The scripture I was uh, what you said earlier, uh, Galatians 4 and 7 says, Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son, and if a son, then thou art heir of God through Mashiach. It says, How be it then? When you knew not God, ye did service unto them which by nature are no gods. But now, after ye have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn ye again to the weak and be uh, beggarly elements whereunto ye desire again to be in Yeah, how you gonna go back? How you gonna come into the truth? Like a lot of y'all probably will still watch videos too. Y'all come into the truth. You're out here teaching. How the hell are you gonna go back to this old weak ass shit? Go back to these weak ass people. And go back to this old trash way of life. Just stop doing the work. Go back to your trash ways of existence of doing nothing, being a sluggard. You know, being a sloth. And a sl just going back to playing video games. Going back to, oh, my fantasy football. You going, all this other, what, what kind of retarded shit are they doing on that? How could you go back to this weak existence? I read that again. Y'all despicable. Anybody that fell out the truth, and still not doing the work, you're despicable. You're worse than despicable. What's a better word? Despicable? That's an abomination. I need more words. I'm gonna start coming out here with the, the source. Wicked. <laughs> huh? Let me get the thesaurus. Let's look up a, I'm gonna look up a, a sentiments for a despicable. Synonyms for despicable. Here are some synonyms for despicable. Contemptible, loathsome, hateful, detestable, reprehensible. There it is. So you gotta, you gotta get a little help sometimes. Y'all, you're reprehensible. What is it? Uh, look at all these. You're shabby, you're miserable, you're wretch. These are all the people that fell out of the truth. Man, I got all the words for you now, bro. Look, look at all these words. I'm about to read all. You're contemptible, you're loathsome, hateful, detestable, reprehensible, abhorrent, abominable. We already said that one. You're awful, you're heinous, <laughs> you're beyond the pale, you're odious. Ooh, you're execrable. <laughs> execrable. You're odious, execrable. Cancer is odiferous. You're odious, ex ex execrable. You're, rep you're repugnant. You're repugnant. If you felt like, if you was once doing this work, and then you stopped doing it. You're repugnant. You're repulsive. Revolting. That's a revolting. That's a revol it is a scripture on that. Revolting, I think. You're revolting. You're horrifying. Obnoxious. Na that's vocabulary. Obnoxious. Nauseating. Oh, he's also nauseating. Offensive. That's offensive. Distasteful. Vile. You're vile. You're villains. You're vile. The vile of the earth. Base. Oh, you're base. 
Hey, the lowly. You're low. You're, you're a low life piece of nothing. You're going to sit here, you'll turn your back on the plow. A lot of you guys, you did the work, then you stopped doing it. If I stopped doing it, you'd say the same thing about me, right? Look, low, <laughs> abject, shameful. Oh, shameful. Shame, that's a shameful thing. It's a shameful thing. Little the deception, the disgrace. Today's the work. What's that from? <laughs> the Lion King. Oh, oh the Lion King? Yeah. How's it go? I just watched that not too long ago. The little swimmer dude, Scar got kicked out of the uh, kingdom, whatever. I forgot what happened, but it was all the same in this shit. The Lion King's plagiarized of uh, Kimba the White Lion. Trash. You know that, right? Trash. Disney's some. Esau Trash. stole. He's a thief. Trash. Esau stole it from the Japanese. Because, yeah, that's disgusting. So I'm going to go back to the people who fell out of truth. The horrible, whatever, nausea, uh, we'll go down here. Shameful, degrade, uh, igno ignomious, cheap, shabby, miserable, wretched, sorry, scurvy, infamous. Uh, they're not the words are going down in quality. Uh, discreditable. Oh, unprincipled. Hey, unprincipled. How you get no principle? Oh, who's the first principle? Because the word prince, that means number one, principle, the first. Okay, the first of the principles is that to love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul. And if you love the Heavenly Father with all your heart and all your soul, you're going to do His work. You're going to do what you was commanded to do. Undisciplined. Undisciplined. That was actually in here. Unsavory. What about unsavory? Oh, uh, salt lost its flavor. Ooh, salt lost its flavor. Low, look, low down, no good. <laughs> this is all cinnamon. What was that for? The cinnamons for the despicable. They got low down, no good. Look, beastly. Y'all is beastly. Lousy. You're lousy. Uh, and then you have the opposite. Admirable and noble. Today was the word day. You see the last video? We just doing words. Hey, it's a spirit sometimes, though. If I need to step up, I'm not mad because I'd be mad. You ever be an everyday speech? Because that's really, that's not our spirit, though. Because we really do speak rough. We rough around the edges with our speech. Because you know how sometimes you, would, you can't get the right words out when you're, you're talking to somebody? You know? It's good to, you know, study words, man, to get your... Uh, Get your vocab up. Oh, I don't want to say get your vocabulary up. I got a priest here. This is because you mentioned the word wretch. It says, Revelation 3 and 15, I know thy works, and thou art neither cold nor hot. I would, thou art cold or hot. See then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. <laughs> Unsavory. He's, he's going to spit you out of his mouth. <laughs> like Sudden yeah, tastes nasty. You're going to be like, ugh. You're like, like, <laughs> spit that shit out your mouth. Yeah, that's sometimes it's just so bad. you just like, I almost puke. Yeah. Uh, like the other day, I almost ate a uh, a fried mushroom. It was all slimy. I chewed it. It was like, oh, I almost puke. That's how y'all like puke out here. Here mm -hmm. puke. That's yeah. y'all say. Like, y'all like vomit. Yeah. That's vomit. Oh yeah, because this is right here. Read it. Read this again because this is talking to the workers. This is talking to the men who's already in, the men of the Lord, the people who's out here doing the work, making the videos, on the street, the teachers. This is who this is talking to. Go ahead. See them because they are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will speed that in my mouth. And this is something we always got to tell ourselves, that we can't be cold or hot. We either have to be, well, we need to be on fire. Like, you know, NBA Jam, he's on fire. You got to be on fire, right? You know, you got to build that meter up and keep that meter all the way up. Don't let it go down. You got to stay on fire. Because you don't want to be caught. Because the Lord don't want nobody that's lukewarm. Okay? You, the Lord ain't looking for nobody who just wants to make one video a month or one video a week or whatever. You know, he wants you to be on fire. He, he don't want to deal with somebody who's, let, who's a, sl a sluggard. Being all cold. You lukewarm. You don't know if you're in the truth all the way, if you're out the truth. Yeah, you're playing games and shit. Yeah, you're playing games. Big signals. Yeah, it makes signals. That's your boy that was gonna come out here to talk to us. Yeah. One moment you love the truth, the next moment you like, ah, oh, nigga, nigga, like the Lord don't got time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do the work or you don't. Yeah. Nigga, yeah, we ain't got time for the bullshit. We ain't got time for the excuses. 
You no know, excuses. Yeah. There's always excuses. Oh, I can't find a parking spot. I can't find a parking spot. Catch y'all later. Never come back. There's a whole big ass city, bro. All kind of parking spots. Yeah. So, about, oh, I'm not familiar with the area. Yeah, go to work and say that shit. Oh, man, I can't yeah. find a parking spot. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm familiar with the area, yeah. but you made it on time there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, fuck that. Come on, man. Got Google Excuses. Maps. Excuses. Google, man. He can't got a phone, too. He just texted me. So, are oh, we talking about your boy? Hey, man. Yes. Hey, we gave you plenty of opportunities to come out here. Now, we're not saying you're the enemy. We're not saying we hate you. We're not saying none of that. All we're that just saying is that, was a, that we was disappointed. We was disappointed. Because if you really wanted to get out here, you would have got out here. I told you exactly where he was at. Right in front of the Supreme Court. That well, I forget where he was at that one day. He was right down here. Yeah, right there, yeah. He was on the river. He was right there. If you told me I was right by Broad Street in the river, I would have walked until I found you. You could have just gave me a, a very vague description of the area. I would have been out there all day long searching. That happened to me when I was in Cleveland. Uh, it was a couple, like not the last time I went to Cleveland, but I think, I don't know. I remember because the brother, they taught somewhere that I, I, I'd never been before, and I was trying to look for it. I went down the back, because you know how downtown, all these fucking one-way shit. Yeah. I, it took me like, probably like 20 minutes just to finally find where it was at, and then to find a fucking parking spot. But shit, I did it. I ain't be like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back there. Because there wasn't no stopping you. Yeah, like. He's like, yeah, you can't stop. I'm gonna get this. Yeah. We going out, we doing this. Yeah. Because you had already set in your mind, we doing this, mm -hmm. you know? If you got to set in your mind that, oh, I'm really like them other guys. Oh, uh, you, you, did you know the guys, the two guys? No. Nah. Hey, when I went to Atlanta, one of the brothers said they uh, they met him. Oh, really? Like when I guess when they was in the truth, I guess they went up there. Are they cool with him or so? No, nah, they said no. Nah, well, at that time, I guess they was in the truth, but uh, I told them that they fell off. Or um, I don't, I don't know if they fell off. Well, who knows, man? You don't know what's going on. They still teaching? Who knows? You yeah. know, they moved to Florida, so who knows? But I don't, I don't know. I ain't gonna go into all that. But uh, what was I saying about? Oh. But they was that they wanted to find us because they seen our video on YouTube, right? And they kind of got a vague idea of where we was at. We was on, I think, campus or something. So they told us they was out there looking for us for like a month, constantly, nonstop, until they found us. So there was no excuses for them. They found us. They was like they wanted to find us. So if you want to find it, you are gonna find it. That's what this truth. If you want, oh, that's in the uh, that's the scriptures on that. But the heat is seeking. You gonna find it. You keep seeking. You are gonna find it. Okay, you gonna find it, all right. If you wanted something bad enough, you gonna get it. Was that the parable where the woman was trying to find her pearl? Yeah. And when she finally found it. She was celebrating. Yeah, he was happy as yeah. 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 But it wasn't easy to find it. Yeah. Some things are hard to find. They were saying like she was cleaning the whole house. She was she made she yeah she the, was finding that motherfucker. The Lord can set it up to make it hard for you to find. You know he could like, but that's any. I'm talking about the truth, you know. But I'm speaking parabolically and literally at the same time. <laughs> but like your boy, he couldn't find his teaching. Maybe the Lord set it up like that to make it hard for him. And it, you know, the Lord will do that to you. How bad do you want something? The Lord will make it you know, hard on you on purpose. I mean, any, any successful person would tell you they didn't get it easily. You know, like a basketball player. They didn't become the best basketball player in the world just because they sat on their ass doing nothing. No. Yeah, I be seeing people doing the little stretches and shit so they can be all flexible. They putting in work. That shit, that shit painful. They be crying and shit. They be because they motherfuckers be stepping on their legs so they can. Yeah, they, they, they doing. They doing too much now. Yeah. Yeah, they, they shit. They can kick the fuck out of somebody. Oh, that's for the kicking. Yeah. Oh shit. They kick high. They do some crazy. But hey, that shit. Painful way they do it. It's pain. Do. Oh, there's an old saying in the Marine Corps. They'd be like, "No pain, no gain. No pain, hey, no pain, no gain." That was the motto, bro. You've been there dying. Like just you running. You're like, ah, "No pain, no gain." You the drone instructor. You know everybody else tired. Tired. The whole platoon tired as fuck. Drone instructor ain't even broke a sweat yet. Like, what's wrong with you pussies? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No pain, no gain. Yeah, that's, that's that's truth right there, man. No pain, no gain. Hey, that's why uh, that scripture's on that. You gonna come into this truth, bro? You you gonna catch all kind of hell be, being in this truth? I'll oh, go ahead. You get persecuted, all kind of stuff.
See, because I say I am rich and increased with goods, and I have need of, uh, I have, uh, I have need of nothing. And know it's not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. The synonyms. Yeah. Right, we gotta do that more often, bro. I'm gonna bust out at the source on. Yeah. Y'all motherfuckers are wretched. You're poor. You're miserable. You ain't Cause it, that's why we why we talk. You know, how you give a little. We can do our videos and and you really start digging into somebody. You want to get all the words. Mm -hmm. You know, because not a lot of time one word just don't cut it. You need a whole bunch of words. And plus, we try not to cuss too much, so we gotta use more words. Now, ooh. We can't just call you f's all the time, you know. Idiot. Yeah, you idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look. Pizza. Let's look. See, we can just keep saying idiot, but that is. Dumb. Oh, let's look up a synonym right. for demon. The so. vocab alone says, "Oh, you guys call me a demon." That's real original, you know. So let's let's. let's well, shit, we are the originals, motherfucker. But, 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 no, but let's be a little more, let's get some more words. Oh, hold on, I messed it up. Cinnamon. <laughs> it's cinnamon. Nicholas think I said cinnamon. According to what? Oh, it did say cinnamon. <laughs> hey, cinnamon's a Hebrew word. I can't say it. Cinnamon? Cinnamon? Cinnamon. What the fuck? Cinnamon for demon. Some synonyms for demon, okay. devil, fiend, evil spirit, fallen angel, cacodemon. Cacodemon. These are the synonyms for uh, vocab alone. I don't know why we're just getting on him. Oh, because if this goes back on YouTube, he'll, he's probably, oh, they got their back. It just pop up in a sub feed or we know. A demon. This is the vocab alone is, okay, we shouldn't say he's this, but anybody who kept, shouldn't use a. Uh, was it ad hominem attacks? I just use two thirds in general. Is that good? Or and Esau and the heathens. But these people out here, they devils, fiends. What is that cocko demon? Incubus, a succubus. All oh, these women, they're some succubuses. These women, these women out here, literally, they got ancient spirits of evil on them. Them ancient succubus demons, they suck the whole life out of you. Hellhounds. They don't give me a whole. <laughs> These women are also monsters, ogres. It says monster ogres, fiends, devils, villains, brutes, savages, beasts, beasts, barbarians. Really, the word barbarian, that's not a good word. Barbarian comes from the word beard. So we're barbarians. We got beards. That's where you get the word barber shop. You, the word bar, you go to the barber, because that's to go back to the word. I think that's Greek for beard, ain't it? Something like that. Uh, they didn't give us much on that one. They didn't give me much. You got anything else you want to get? This this battery about to die. But uh, I was just reading that it said the definite. Well, this is a definition for demon. Is a cruel, evil, or destructive person or thing. There's a lot of demons out here. Maybe we're surrounded by demons. That's they're, they're, they're this, like like vocab Malone. When he says you called me a demon. Oh, how original! But that's an apt descriptor, isn't it? Because he's a cruel. He's cruel. The the elderly guy says about us all the time is cruel. He says mean, hurtful things about us all the time. Like I mean, <laughs> he says he really does. What well, the things are mean and hurtful? What you saying about us, man? They're mean, they're cruel, they're evil in the way you snicker, in the way you laugh. It's evil. They're just, you're destructive. Because we, we got destructive, we're destructive. We're constructive, we're with structure. We're constructive. We're over here building the church up, and here it comes this guy with, he's trying to deconstruct it. He's trying to destruct it and destroy what we've built, you know? It's, a, it's like, you know, we're on a construction job. You over here, Pounding with the hammer. I'm over here with the drill. Whatever we are, we're over here building, and he's coming through there. Ha, ha, ha. Just he's like kicking, kicking the screws over, kicking two by four, kicking saws over. You know, he's just tearing up the construction site. Being, a, he's like a gremlin. You ever see them gremlins on a? <laughs> he's a gremlin. You ever see them gremlin? Was that Bugs Bunny cartoon? And he's up in an airplane. Had gremlins all up in the engine. 
Nice. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's the best, bro. The, you ain't seen them all, the Gremlins? I seen you the probably movie. seen him with that. He's on the airplane. Yeah. And that's when he's like, which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Right. You don't remember that one? But yeah, so your boy Vocab Malone, he's like a gremlin. He's like, because all, all a gremlin is for is a sab. He's a, sabota a saboteur. A gremlin is a saboteur, a, 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 sab a evil saboteur demon spirit. Oh, I got to stop it. I'm going to say Shalom. <laughs> what the fuck?